Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm very excited about doing this one today. Um, this is a bit of crafting. Um, I have had this J, I'm going to show you guys this J for ages. I've had it for about two years and I really want to get it done now um, so that I haven't got to keep um, looking at it basically I got this J ages ago for free J of course stands for our son's name Joseph or Joe as his mates call him or what I call him Jojo Joey but yeah I got this J it's a wooden one actually a long long time ago and I decided not to give him it as like that that I want to decorate it in a American theme so I thought what a great idea to do a video as well um, so I will now show you a few of the things that I have made Joe over the years um, so I will pop that in now hi everyone so as you can see I'm in Joe's room right now and I'm going to turn you around now so that you can see just some of the crafting items that I've made for Joe over the years um, so I'll turn you around so one of the newest ones that I've done this year was this big massive notice board. Now um, Joe used to have like a little tiny one and he had that for a long long time actually um, throughout his years. It's been, and it was blue and silver I think it was. But this big one I just did not want to give him a boring brown one. So I said to him how about him old mum, old young mum then, um, decorate it to sort of match the theme in your bedroom and that's what I did so what I did you can't really see because he's got so much stuff on there bless his heart he's a bit of um, a collector of stuff that he likes putting stuff up and and so forth basically so as you can see the American flag is on there but it's not just like a straight American flag like it doesn't go like it's sort of waving on there so as you can see look so it looks like it's waving in the wind. We had to put it upright um, because of the, the size of it, basically. But as you can see, there's the stars. And then you can see the the red and the blue. And, yeah, uh, I have to admit, he. I think it's one of my... Is it my, one of my favourite things? It's one of my, new, you know, one of them things that I loved doing for him. But um, yeah, so that's Pride of Place, but you can't see it anymore because it's just full of his stuff. As well as his like other bits of American stuff. This used to be on his phone, but you don't have that phone anymore. But you want to keep it. I remember buying him this not long ago. A couple of years ago. I only bought it as a little, it's a watch thing. But it's American, so that's why I gave him it. But yeah, as you can see... And that picture there, guys, that's our little Edie when she first came to us. And our son put the sunglasses on him, and that's her as a pup. How cute! <laughs> but yeah, that's one of the projects. Next is this cross stitching one. I don't do cross stitching anymore, I do miss it, but I just don't have the time for it. I gave him this uh, quite a few Christmases ago, actually. And I said to her, I'm going to make you, cross stitch you something to do with America. So as you can see, we've got the taxi, July the 4th, the Route 66, gas, because we call ours petrol here. And then you've got the tram. We don't have tram. Well, we do have trams, but not like you guys over there. American flag. Then we've got another American flag, the dollar sign. The, um, I forgot what she's called. Sorry, guys. Then the star and the, you know all that so that that is probably one of my favorites that i've done for him and that sits behind his door which i've just not done <laughs> but yeah that's one of my other favorites so again another item that i made for him i found this fleece material i think it was an old blanket and i wanted to do something with it because i had made ferret hammocks out of it and i had a bit left over and i thought why not make my son a pillow? Because, again, it's American themed. Because he's American fanatic, as you guys know. And it's got the baseball. He's got soccer. He's got basketball. So, yeah, it's one of his 
favourite pillows again. And I made that for quite a few Christmases ago as well. So that sits up there with his other pillows. I'll just puff that back up so you don't moan at me. Um, some other pillows that, like this one I got last year. Plus this blue and blue and uh, white stars. That's also a present we got him last year as well. But as you can see, that's another thing I made. But the my most favourite one. I made this about 10 years ago. I didn't make the plane. The plane <laughs> the plane came to us like that. It actually, a bloke gave us it. Um, and I didn't want to throw it away. And Joe wanted it, desperately wanted it. So I decided to paint it. <laughs> and we hung it up in his room. And it's one of his favourite things in his room right now. And it's like, what, he's 18 now? So... It must have done well with it. But he did actually help me paint this. I remember him painting it in the front room. We had paper everywhere, paint everywhere. Yeah, the good old days. Um, so I painted the nose silver and then put the sharp teeth in it on there. Did the flames on his rings. Painted the feet again with the silver. And then along here you've got his name. And then along there you've got like a, another flame on the ring at the back. And that's actually, that stays up there. I'm surprised he hasn't taken it down because it is quite big. It takes quite a lot of room in his ceiling, but he absolutely loves it. And it is one of my favourite projects that I've made for him. So yeah, that's just a handful of items that I've made for Joe over the years. So I'm quite excited to do this um, J project. So let's go on. So, as you can see, I've made a few things in my time, um, from cross-stitching, to needlework, to sewing, to painting, you name it, I've probably done it. Um, but with what we used to do, our job, our business, it used to be a clearance company, so I didn't really get time to do what I... I do like doing it, actually, I really do. Um, so, as you can see... I do like it, so yeah. So basically this J, I've decided to give him it for Christmas. I don't know if I'm going to keep the string, I'm not sure yet. But the J, I thought would be awesome in his room. But, what do I do with it? It's wooden, so it's nice and heavy as well. Um, what do I do? I was like thinking, what should I do? It has to be American themed. And I thought I could stick pictures over it that look like... Um, from America or bits on it etc but I thought what will be good is to cover it in maps from America so I've got to decide do I go with this kind of style or I got given this old black and white I think it's black and white let me have a look I can't remember I've had it for that long guys that I can't remember um, no it's coloured actually so I'll probably use that as well or this kind of thing I think I'm going to mix it up I'm going to not cut I'm going to rip because I like the texture of it I'm going to sand it as well and I've also got the glue which I bought off um, eBay and it was like three three pounds I mean for two bottles plus um, it was free postage, so that was awesome. So I've got my um, glue as well. Um, I'm going to sand it, like I said, because I need to um, for the glue to stick on it. I'm just going to go with it. So first I'm going to sand it, and then we'll see how it get on. So I thought I'd do a video and sort of go through it with you guys. So, what do you need, Dawn, basically? Well, you need your letter. I don't know where you can get wooden ones, I just know you can get cardboard ones from the range and they're like a couple of quid each. But I don't know where else you can get the um, notes, perhaps the works, I don't know. But I got this free so I, I really don't know. Maps, well you could buy maps anywhere but I was lucky enough to get free ones because I got given them. So I've got one there and I've got two here. And then of course I need the sandpaper to sand the wood down. And, of course, the glue. Now, I'm in the bedroom, which means 
Um, I need something to do it all on, so I've just got to try with some paper because Dave's using the downstairs. So I thought I will come up here nice and quiet and uh, do it. <laughs> so yeah, now let's hope I get this done because I was meant to do it this morning. It's now like coming up to three o'clock and our son comes back from London like about half five. Fingers crossed I'll get it done. But yeah, so I'll be back with you guys once I've sanded the letter down. So guys, I've sanded it down now so it's a bit rough and I've just ripped up some of the maps. I've decided to go for the old version because I think that will look much better because there's also like a yellow tinge to it and I think my son will really like that better. So now, the fun bit. I'm going to start sticking the bits on. Wish me luck. Hi guys, it's day two of the J and it is finally done. It is a little bit tacky so I'm going to leave it a little bit longer but here it is. The J has finally finished. I friggin love it. I think it's cute. I love the fact that the blacks come through as well which wasn't planned but it gives it quite a nice oldie effect. And then what I did, I stuck a American flag on there as well, just to give it a little bit of um, so it wasn't all the same thing, just to break it up a little bit. But I've done it on the outsides and the insides. Um, I've just got to trim a little bit at the back, but like I said, I've got to um, let it dry a little bit longer. Not sure what I'm doing about the string yet. I think the string's too long, so I might cut the like put a new string and put it a bit lower than the actual size of it now. But I absolutely friggin' love it. And what a lovely Christmas present as well. Because I find that we, you know, th handmade things are so lovely. And as you saw from my video, a lot of my stuff that I've done throughout the years, my son's still got now and he's 18. So I really am chuffed with this. And I know Joe's going to love it. And Dave loved it too when I showed him this morning. I absolutely love it. And you can see there's bits of America because I only used American f um, maps on here. So you have got keywords like where well, it actually says Florida and Mississippi, and we've got Orlan, um, Orleans, and you know all the all the states and that on there. So I know he's going to love it. And what a great idea to do as well. I mean, you guys could also do something for your children or for a parent or whatever, and you can decorate it with any kind of thing I mean with children you could decorate it with um, their favorite cartoon character or a dinosaur or a Barbie or with adults you could do it with flowers or whatever what a great idea and I've been wanting to do that for like I said for about two years so I'm really really excited I was gonna stick bits and bobs on it but I don't think it needed it I really didn't think it needed it especially with him being 18 he doesn't want one with sticky things on it and I think that would be more appropriate for his bedroom so I'm really, really excited to have brought that to you. Um, watch out for another video coming up soon, which will be filmed with my son, where we're going to try our hand at candle making. We've got all the bits for it. We've got candles that we saved up from ones that we've had. Um, we've got the things to put it in. We've got cups and saucers and all kinds of stuff to put the, the wax in. And I'm so excited to say that we're going to be doing that one next. Um, and it'll be an alien thing to us because we've never made candles in all our life It's something we've both wanted to do for a long long while and I asked him if he would video with it With me and he said yeah, so that's pretty cool So yeah, watch out for that. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It helps the channel so much And if you want subscribe, um, I don't just do crafting. I do vlogs, hauls, etc And just thank you for being awesome awesome subscribers who always reply to my um, videos and that you rock and yeah I'm gonna go now because <laughs> I do now a lot so I'll see you later guys bye and thanks for watching